From our studios at historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee, coming to you from our studio right here at Arnold's Park Amusement Park. You know what else is here in the park? It's the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association Museum. Clay Norris is here with us today. He is the uh, director of it, executive director. My friend, how are you? I am doing great. Yeah. Isn't it nice after the polar blast of 2021 <laughs> that it's, uh, you know, you can actually go out and, and yeah. not have 10 layers. On. It doesn't hurt <laughs> when you walk outside. My face was hurting and this yes. is so much better. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Well, you had an announcement last week that uh, I, I think a lot of people were excited to see this. Uh, rock the roof. Yes. And Lord willing, we are uh, planning to have a, a full indoor schedule this year. Yeah. And we learned a lot kind of in the transition period of the end of uh, 2020 and the beginning of this year. We've had two or three shows like this. Uh, and when Maddie Poppy was here uh, in December, in December yeah. we, you know, we set the seats up in either sets of two or sets of four yeah. or the booths. And when you're seated there, you don't have to wear a mask, but when you're otherwise around you have to and yep and then of course we had to limit the attendance so the first show we're going to have is in march okay it's going to be march 18th that's and, a nice jump start usually we got to wait till june for yeah. rock the rope so this yeah be good. so march 18th uh we're going to have rock a la carte come to play yeah and they are the thing about them i i think their name is very appropriate because they could do about anything oh, yeah, they can yeah. it is truly like uh <laughs> get let's see uh, how about a little of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and, and then a whole lot of everything else. Yeah. That's right. And I think we talked, we'll talk a little bit more, but I do think they're going to do sort of a rock through the decades thing like they did when we... Oh, yeah. I had the uh, uh, telethon webinar, whatever it was. Yeah. 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 Because, yeah. you know, and, and obviously more than what uh, one half of one song <laughs> yeah. that, we, that we did that night. But uh, anyway, St. Patrick's Day the theme, like I said before, mm -hmm. and then... We go um, skip April, basically, although we are going to try to do some live streams in April, so okay. stay tuned for that. Yep. But starting on May the 6th, we've this is an idea that is, it's a past idea, but we're bringing it back. Okay. Um, it's a, we're going to do spring prom. Oh, yeah. And Denny and the DC Drifter is going to be here. Okay. And Denny, oh, he's so fired up about this because Denny's got like a spring prom thing. I mean, <laughs> he's got the crowns. He's got oh, everything. My goodness, yeah. So so we're going to recreate the idea is to recreate a mid-60s prom. And the reason we're picking mid-60s is I think it was 1966 when John Sen, our co-founder, uh, started IGL Records right. and uh, DJ and the Runaways was popular. Yep. And so we're, you know, I don't know if we'll pick the year of 66 or what, but it'll be that theme. Okay. And then, of course, you could dress in current prom clothes, past prom clothes, you don't have to, yeah. you know, whatever. Remember those ruffles that we would wear when we went to prom and they, they were lovely. Uh, yeah. The, lovely. You would try to get your tux to match your date's dress. <laughs> yeah. Like I wore a yellow tux one Ooh, year. Ooh. That's got a nice feel to yes. it. Yeah. yeah those, that was the 70s. Yeah. Right? Right. I want to go there. Uh, 60s was cooler. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. So that's May 6th. And then all of these are six o'clock starts and the doors will open at five. Right. Okay. Then on May 27th, we have a double bill, uh, Mogan's Heroes and Serpent Safari. They were two of our most popular ones last year yep. on Lake Street. Yep. Good show. Then Galaxy was probably our most popular one out on Preservation Plaza. And so Galaxy is coming on June 10th. Okay. Then June 24th, Starfire will be here. Yeah. Starfire wanted to play last year, but they were one of the ones that we that we had to uh, you know yeah. postpone. Uh, then July eighth and August fifth, these two bands have a common denominator, and that's the wonderful Steve Samuelson. Yeah. But we Interstate Cruisers will be here July eighth. Okay. And then August fifth is Borderline Outlaws. Okay. Then August twelfth is Sean Benz, who is 
the next two guys are younger guys mm -hmm. that play a lot of older rock and roll. Right. And yep. they're so good and at Sean's it. And Sean's awesome. Sean is incredible. Yeah. Sean is a uh, music teacher at a district up in Minnesota. Okay. And he really wanted to come, but then abundance of caution this past year. Yep. And yep. just said, you know, I, I can't pick this up. And right. Be a school teacher. Yep. I'm trying to, to do, you know, be Absolutely. Careful. So he'll be here August 12th. August 19th is Richie Lee, yeah. who's the other younger guy that yeah. does such a great job. Who's been playing, he's been playing here since he's about this high. That's what I understand. Oh he, my goodness. Both he and Sean have this deep, um, both of them, anytime you mention John Sen, yeah. uh, they, they, you can really see the emotion yep. in their eyes. Huge appreciation. They, um, he was a great mentor to them. Yeah. And then on, uh, on September the 2nd, excuse me, that, this is the Thursday before the Friday, Saturday, Sunday of induction. Weekend. Induction, right. And that night, you know, we, we have all of our folks here and we're, prep, we're preparing and the board members are here and so forth. So we came up with an idea that the board would kind of do a jam session. There's so many board members that are great musicians. Absolutely. And so for now, we're calling it the Iowa Rock and Roll Board of Directors <laughs> and All Stars. Yeah. But I can, Well, so many of them are. I mean, they that, are. That, that's how this was made up with these former musicians or current musicians. And, and, uh, yeah, I guarantee yeah. you, everyone that will play, well, they're either in our Hall of Fame now or they will be. Yeah. At some point. It's like the ultimate jam session, you know? Yeah. yeah. So it'll be, it'll be great. And, um, Kind of, I know it'll be a fun show. Yeah. So uh, details will be coming per show. I, I explained the whole thing about the March show. Right. But the ones from May to September, I mean, our hope is we can ease it, you know, to maybe 400 seats, 500 seats. Yeah. I and mean, we would love to have Be a, fluid with it, whatever the situation yep, is. At whatever that point. the yeah. science says. Um, yep. You know, you and I had discussed earlier that. Uh, given the fact that for Rock the Roof, a lot of people are 50 plus, yeah. uh, by the time we get there, maybe a good majority of the people will have had both vaccines. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's a friendly, you know, name tag with a green dot on it or something that yep. says, I, I've been shot. Yeah, I've been shot in a good way. <laughs> Who shot JR? And uh, <laughs> I don't know, but, but we're going to be fluid and careful about that. Like we've been the whole time, everybody's safety. Yeah. We're wanting to balance that with the intense desire for everybody wants to get back together. Absolutely. Everybody wants to have a good time. Well, you guys have done such a, did such a great job with it during the pandemic of keeping people safe, still keeping people entertained and bringing them the music that they love. You just found ways around it. Yeah, you it's, know? It's, it's been a lot. It's been a challenge, but it's also been um, a blessing in some ways because we have live streamed everything yeah. and uh, that's reaching people gosh the last line live stream we had and it was I mean it was a rock the roof mm. just what last in January um, we nearly reached 10,000 people yeah and that's amazing and they were from there were 10 different foreign countries represented uh, wild uh, it was crazy shows you the reach of music yeah you know doesn't it though yeah there's some Iowa rock and roll music fan base in England. That is our number two country next to the United States, even ahead of Canada. Yeah. Uh, I don't quite know why, but uh, <laughs> maybe it's that one time that Ralph Klusman played at the Cavern Club. That could be it. Maybe that's that it. That could certainly be it. And, and quickly, the uh, uh, an induction weekend, this will be the class of this will, okay. 2020. It will, but it won't. Uh, we are going to go ahead and call them the class of 2021. Okay. It's just getting so confusing. Right. Uh, they will have had the longest time from when they were announced uh, and are officially, you know, they're officially members of the Hall of Fame. They just have not been, had the, the benefit of being inducted. Right. And having the ceremony. Yeah. So uh, they're very patient. They have... Um, they agreed with this. They we called them first before we made this decision. Yeah. And um, so, just to do it right for them, we've had a. I mean, we've had all kinds of plans and thought about all kinds of things. Right. And, you know, there was one. You know, do you merge them? Do you add some other people to it? Uh, 
it just, it, it, you never say never, you know, maybe there's one or two out there, yeah. I don't know. But, but by and large, we can't do two full class inductions right. and have either one of them be good for either class. Right, yeah, it's an honor, and you want to have them give them their, their, their due opportunity to yes. be honored, and this yeah. is going to be great. That's, and we're very excited about it. Gives, in fact, we've got a meeting tonight, uh, the night we're recording this, uh, with the board to focus on that, okay. to begin the preparations and uh, get this show going. All right, and that's exactly the theme right there. Get the show going, yep. rock the roof, coming back, and uh, it's gonna be fantastic, Clay. Thank you to yourself, your board, certainly your many, many volunteers. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Jeff. And oh, and a little plea out there. If you're interested in volunteering, uh, it gives you a free ticket to a show. Yeah. So if you are interested in volunteering, please uh, call the museum okay. and uh, let Maddie know. I'll call you back. Maddie will call you back. Yeah. We'd love to have some more volunteers. We have some very loyal volunteers, but you, you know do. they've been doing it for a long time. They can't make everything. Yep. They, um, you know, some of them are getting older, and uh, particularly with the pandemic, especially the first early shows, they may or may not feel comfortable coming yeah. out to volunteer. And we just want to get more people involved. It's a wonderful association. Well, it's not hard work, number one. I mean, you may yeah. be taking tickets or helping pass the bucket during whatever. I mean, yeah. so yeah. it, and you get a free show. Exactly. So good stuff. All Thank right. You. And of course, you want more information Iowa, the rock, the letter N, and mm -hmm. then roll.com. That is I correct. I had to spell it out in my head there, Clay. It's in your shirt. It it says, oh, yeah. <laughs> Just follow this. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Our thanks to Clay Norris for being here with us today. And hey, we always thank you for watching us right here on Open Boji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake, Last Touch Painting and Cleaning, providing interior, exterior, house painting, and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Attorney Bethany Brands at Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. The YMCA of the Okabojis is the Bedell Family YMCA, building strong families and strong communities. 